Good morning. I'm getting ready to harvest my onions and I wanted to show you guys a few things to look for to know when it's time to harvest. Then I'm going to walk through the process I use to cure my onions for long-term storage. So let's take a look. The first thing that you want to look for is that the tops of your onions have started to flop. So you can see here these guys have gone from being upright to completely flopped over. Now this entire patch has flopped over. Typically what you want to look for is about half to three quarters of your crop has begun to flop over. These guys got knocked over by a storm and I've just kind of let them sit out here. So these are probably a little past where you would typically harvest, but it gives you an idea what you're going to be looking for. So in combination with the tops falling over, another cue to look for is that this skin where the stem attaches to the bulb has started to become papery and dry. Now, what this is telling you is that the foliage is no longer providing any kind of sustenance to the bulb and that growth is no longer occurring. Your onions are not going to get any bigger after the foliage looks like this. So there is no point in leaving them in the ground any longer. They're, they're done. So that being said, you can harvest onions anytime after the bulbs have sized up. This is the optimal timing for long-term storage. Something else to be aware of is that there are different types of onions that will store for different lengths of time. So for example, this guy back here is a candy onion and this one is used more for fresh eating and it's only going to have an optimal storage life of maybe about three months. Versus up here, I've got a, this is a Patterson yellow long-term storage onion properly cured, I've had these last up to a year in storage. So if you've got different types of onions interplanted with different storage lengths, it's probably a good idea to keep them separated so that you are using your short-term storage onions first. I'm gonna go ahead and get these out of the ground. Do be aware that this stem is quite fragile at this point, so if you can avoid just ripping them out by the stem, that's a good idea. Gently loosening them with your hands first, or if you have really heavy soil, maybe coming in with like a little trowel and just kind of loosening the dirt around them. But just try to avoid snapping off that stem. The other thing that I want to mention is that <laughs> my dad likes to tell me that my grandpa's old adage was always, never let the rains of August fall on your onions. And while my harvest time is a little earlier than August nowadays, that adage rings true because you want to avoid, if at all possible, watering your onions about a week or two before they're ready for harvest. Now, obviously you can't control the rains, but if your onions are close to being ready and the forecast is calling for a lot of big downpours like within you know the next couple days, it's a good idea to get your onions out of the ground before that point because again, if they're soaking up a lot of moisture, it, the curing process is gonna take even longer and chances are they may not store as well and might be prone to things like black rot. All right, so we've got all those up. I'm gonna grab the other side as well and then I'm gonna set these up for curing. For curing, this is how I do it. <laughs> I've seen a lot of advice out there saying to let them dry in the sun for a day or two. I never put my onions in direct sun, and this is what has worked best for me. Um, it may vary from climate, it may vary on the intensity of your sunlight. As with everything, there are a lot of variables in gardening. This is how I do it and what has worked well for me. So the main thing that you wanna focus on when curing onions is good air circulation. You want these to dry out as quickly as possible and to avoid any kind of damp situations. So as you can probably see, this is my kid's trampoline. I'm using this for right now because it's kind of got this breathable mesh base. It's up and elevated, keeping the onions out of the way of like curious pets and other things that might chew on them and drag them off. It's shaded, so it's gonna get air movement, but it's not gonna get direct sun. And I'm actually gonna let these out here for about a day or two to dry, and then I'm going to move them into the barn. So I'm just gonna lay these all out in a single layer. The more space you can give them, the better. But if you're pretty tight on space, I find that 
as long as the bulbs aren't covered up with the stems, it's fine. You can kind of have these stems overlapping, but just keep air circulation in mind. And you don't have to fuss with cleaning the dirt off. I mean, if you have excessive clumps, you can kind of brush the clumps off, but a little bit of dirt on these bulbs while they're drying is not gonna hurt anything. So I'll continue to harvest and lay them all out like this. Like I said, I'm gonna let these dry here for maybe about a day or two, just depending on how busy I get. Then I will go ahead and move them into the barn. Now, if you don't have a barn, a garage, a covered porch, basically anything where they are going to be covered and protected from the elements, but again, good air circulation warm and dry is optimal and same thing you want to get them as much in a single layer as possible ideally you want to lay them on something that's got air circulation even from the underside so i like to use a screen set between two saw horses i've used pallets and just set them between the rows of the pallets which has worked really nice and then you're going to let them cure from anywhere from two to four weeks and what you're going to look for when they're done curing kitty is that these roots are going to be just completely dried up and real wiry the stems are going to be completely dried down and almost crispy and you'll also feel that these outer layers of, of skin or peel are going to get very dry and kind of shrink away from the bulb a little bit and at that point you can come along and eat, braid your onions or snip the tops off or what have you so once they're at that point you can move them ideally into a cool dry location so if you have a basement or a root cellar i will typically put them in our basement i will either hang them in braids or i will put them in something like a crate or a bushel basket but again anything that's going to provide some air circulation to those bulbs as they're sitting in storage and with long-term storage onions with proper curing and storage, your onions can last anywhere from nine to 12 months. Now, of course, you can pull them out at any time during all of this and use them, but be sure to use, if you have short-term storage onions planted, be sure to use those first. Now, if you have any other tips that have worked really well for you, be sure to let me know in the comments below. And if you find content like this helpful, please consider subscribing to my channel, Growfully with Jenna. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.